Welcome to Sunday. As you might recall, on a Sunday, you might expect to find me up here thinning these trees. But um, I've had to rejiggle my schedule this week, my timetable. And um, what I'm doing instead is removing these branchy bits from the tree thinning and taking them down to my bonfire for a bonfire tomorrow. Tomorrow is my best opportunity, so one thing I've noted um, through this lifestyle is that it does actually pay to be a bit flexible where you can. Um, so it's just the best weather tomorrow for a bonfire and my best opportunity for various reasons. So I jiggle stuff about, chainsawing's out, prepping for bonfire is in. I've already taken um, two loads of this stuff down, so I reckon maybe another two journeys I'll clear it and then I've got another pile of stuff down at the creek walk. I've got three piles left down there, but my goal for today is to bring up one of them. So uh, let's see how we get on with that. There's stage one complete, so that's the wood I've just brought down from up the hill and the pile of stuff that I've been clearing from around the property from places. I'm going to head down now to the um, creek walk to get the next batch of pomaderis branches to bring up. I thought I'd bring you with me just to uh, refresh your memories. So um, this is the creek walk. For anyone who's watching a film for the first time, so called cool because this is a path that heads to the creek. <laughs> since we're down here. Um, why don't we just have a quick look at the creek, see how that's going. It hasn't rained for a while. It's making a nice noise. But it's not exactly a raging torrent. Let me get a bit closer. Anyway, that's not why we're here. So you may recall that I've been clearing dead pomaderis that um, follows the path along the creek just to tidy it up and make it a bit more accessible. Obviously I've got a lot more work to do. The regrowth is now starting to take over, so that's for another day. And in the process I created piles of branches which I didn't want. I keep as much of the wood for fire purposes as I can, but stuff like this I just don't need, I don't have use for. So I've already cleared one pile and I have pile two and I also have this pile and this pile. <laughs> that last pile there is going to be a bit of a bitch actually because it's quite far from the house and it's not really walkable so I'm going to have to put it in the car but because it's so branchy you can only really get so much in at a time and it's a big pile. Anyway that's something to think about another time but what I'm going to do now is start shifting this up um, is second bonfire material. Not looking forward to it. This is deceptively steep. But no vehicle can get down here, so it has to be done by hand. I just pretend I'm some sort of medievaler and that uh, helps me get through it. The thing that makes this hard work isn't that so much that the wood's heavy. It's not, it's really light. It's dead and it's branchy. It's that it's awkward because it's branchy 
So it's all tangled in on itself. And then it spikes you in the legs whenever you walk. And then you're dragging it along the ground. And I guess therefore the friction, uh, the drag vector makes it difficult to manoeuvre. Then also we're going uphill. The worst bit's when we get up there where we hit the grass. And I have moved tons and tons and tons of material this way over the years. There are just places where vehicles that we own currently at least just won't go and the vehicles that will go there that we dearly love to have are expensive so as I say like my medieval ancestors doing it all by hand. Although actually now that I mention this, they probably <sighs> would have used a donkey or a mule or something. I should think even they weren't so stupid as to have to do all this by hand. They would have had a more elegant solution. So I'm, I'm worse than a medieval peasant. <sighs> That's a cheering thought. We're getting there. Here we go. Final trip of this pile. Fire. This second bonfire. We're all on tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning. It's early in the morning, it's not yet seven, and I am off to have bonfire number two. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. We have another success on our hands. All <laughs> gone from there to here. And away we go. It's just a waiting game now. Waiting for that all to burn down and then I'll have to start pushing the stuff in on the edges as, pro as previously. And then my work here is done. Bonfire 2. Good job. There we go, the final phase of the bonfire. All pushed in, all nice and neat, all burning, burning away. I'm going to leave that to get on with it now and um, time for some breakfast. The sight of me in Will's car will be pretty familiar to those of you who've watched more of my videos than just this one, but um, we're off on an overnight trip. Uh, we're going to go and stay with my in-laws for a night um, because we've got an appointment in a nearby town to them tomorrow. Um, hence why I was up so early getting the bonfire going today. Um, it was a good opportunity but since I knew we were going away from home this afternoon I wanted to give it as long as possible to burn. So um, as ever I'm just sat here waiting for Will and uh, then we'll be off on our mini adventure. Stop number one. It's regional town. 
of food shops. my shopping done. I'm just waiting for Will in the car park, not very salubrious. Anyway, um, you may not realise but uh, I'm, as you're watching this, in the past <laughs> and um, Australian elections are coming up and now that I'm a citizen I'm eligible to vote. And I'm actually thinking I might vote tomorrow. I know who I'm voting for and since I'm in a place now where it is possible for me to vote early um, because my home is a certain distance away from my local polling booth it means I'm eligible for voting early um, I might just go and do that tomorrow, get it done uh, Vote for women! <laughs> this is stop off point number two and um, I thought whilst I'm waiting I thought I'd show you this cool building it's a style of architecture that um, you don't see in the UK, but it, it puts me in mind of um, the Wild West of America. Um, this was formerly a hotel, and it's got this um, veranda and balcony. I'm afraid I can't really... Oh, I can zoom in a bit more. With this beautiful metalwork that's been painted cream. I've read first-hand accounts of people who came to Australia in the 19th century from the UK and they were really impressed with being able to walk in the shade underneath these balconies. Anyway, I thought I'd quickly show you this cool building which is very different from stuff at home. Thursday. Thursday morning, parrot feeding time. There's an extra there of king parrots. They're the bigger, greenier 
ones. These are the males with the red heads. Oh, that's a female. And then crimson rosettes, these blue and red ones, slightly smaller. Australian sparrows, I call them. <laughs> I love the sound of all those beaks eating all that seed. It's like a room full of people knitting. This is a building we've not been in before. Um, this is the house and this is a shed. The other side's the solar cupboard. But this was formerly my tool shed and potting shed which largely consisted of me sitting on a bag of manure or compost on the floor, potting up seedlings or oh, sowing seeds. However, it latterly became Will's workshop and Will's in the process of renovating it. So I thought I'd capture the process and then show you the finished article, however long in the future that will be when it's done. So previous to this, there were a load of tools. Um, we'll s gradually stripping it all out so he can build it up again. Um, this is his workbench. We've already had some work done in here. There was no electricity in here before. So we've had a couple of sockets installed and a light. Um, so although it's a small space and I think ideally we would like a custom built workshop for the time being, um, this is what we're making, what he's making do with. I might film it again when it's completely stripped out. And then when it's finished. So uh, just to let you know, this project is underway on a building on our property, albeit it's, it's more Will's project, but nevertheless, I thought it would be good to capture it. It's now in the early afternoon. And what I've been doing this morning, as I plan to do today, is go up the backwoods and continue my tree thinning. And this is the result. So now I'm going to process it. Um, I thought I'd also take the opportunity to give you a quick update about what happened regarding voting. Uh, I didn't get around to voting. Give you something nicer to look at. <laughs> uh, I didn't get around to voting. Um, it just didn't work out. Um, that doesn't matter. It was a bit of an afterthought anyway, and um, I'll just vote on a day like most other people. So there's not much to say about that. Um, the second day outing was very successful. Um, I couldn't film that, but I hope you can see from the footage of the journey. Um, it's very lovely country, and um, a much bigger town we ended up in than we've been to yet. Uh, but I can reveal <laughs> even more bigger towns are yet to come next week because um, Will and I are off to Melbourne for a few nights. Um, we're going to the opera. We're big Wagner fans. Um, so we're going to a performance of Lohengrin. So I'll, for the first time this vlog, have some city footage to share with you. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, maybe it's a slightly shorter vlog this week than normal. I'm not too sure I haven't fully edited it yet. Um, but if this is where it ends, I hope that you have a really nice weekend. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. <laughs>